Hi guys, we've got an applications of calculus question for you today. Specifically, we're going to be working with related rates. So what we've got here is we've got a rotating light of a lighthouse that rotates at five revolutions a minute. The lighthouse is situated three kilometres from a straight coastline. We're asked how fast the beam of light moves across the coastline at the instant it passes a point on the coastline four kilometres from the lighthouse. Okay. So what we're going to do, guys, is we've got to find the speed at which this beam of light, i.e. here, moves across this coastline. So what we're going to do is, to start with, guys, we're going to define this distance here from the perpendicular to the coastline to where the beam of light is. We're going to define this at distance as x. Okay, guys? Now, basically, if we're asked to find the speed at which x is changing, what we're going to use is we're going to use the relationship dx, the change in x, over the change in time. So it is this value here that the question is asking us to find. Okay, so now we have the relationship that the question is asking for. What I usually do is I will scour back through the question and see if I can find any more information on other relationships that the question may be sort of hinting to or alluding to. If we scour through the question, the first thing we find is this five revolutions per minute. So what we can do from this, we know that one revolution is going to be equal to two pi radians. So what we can do from here is we know that our change in angle, we're going to call it change in theta over the change in time. is going to be equal to 5 times 2 pi is 10 pi radians per minute. Cool. So now that we have dx dt and we have d theta dt, what we're going to do is we can use these to find the last relationship that will be required to um, complete this chain rule style problem. So what we're going to do is we're looking for dx dt. So we're going to go dx dt is equal to d theta dt, which is what we have. Now what I want is I want to be able to cancel out the thetas because they're not used in the final solution. And I need the, an x. So I'm to cancel out the thetas, I'm going to need a theta in the denominator, so I'm going to go d theta, and to get the x in the numerator, I have to write the x at the top. So this is the relationship that I'm going to have to find. The change in distance, i.e. this length here, with respect to the change in theta. Now theta, guys, is going to be simply this angle in here. So what we've got here is I'm going to be able to use these two distances and x to be able to relate x and theta. So I know that tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent or x over 3. So I know to relate x to theta, I can say that x is equal to 3 times the tan of theta. Now this is where the cool part comes in, guys. What we do now to find out this relationship, we just differentiate this formula that we've come up with here. So we go dx d theta is equal to 3 times sec squared of theta. Great. So now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to input all the information that we know, and hopefully we're going to come out with either our answer or something close to what our answer is. So let's go back to black. 
we can say that dx dt is equal to d theta dt, which is 10 pi, multiplied by dx dt, which we've just calculated, is 3 sec squared theta. Cool. So, we haven't got a final answer yet, but we're getting bloody close. What we're going to do from here, guys, is we've got this theta point. Now, to calculate theta, this one here, so that'll give us an actual solution. We're going to use this piece of information here, this four kilometers from the lighthouse. So what I can do is I can use the four and the three kilometers to find this angle here. Adjacent hypotenuse is cosine. I can say that theta is equal to the inverse of cosine of three over four. And we get a radian measure, guys, which is equal to 0 0.7227 radians. So what we then do is we simply enter this number here into our formula or relationship or whatever you want to call it. And we get 10 pi times 3 sec squared of 0 0.7227 and that gives us approximately 168 kilometers per minute. So it's very important, guys, because we had these numbers here in kilometers, this is also going to be in kilometers. And because we had our radians per minute in minutes, it's going to have to be in minutes as well. You would only ever change this to meters a second or something like that if the question explicitly asks you to. If it doesn't, just leave it like this. Like it's, you know, make it easier on yourself. So guys, that's our final answer. Now let's just quickly go over what we did to get here. So first of all, I drew a picture of our situation. A lot of people don't, but I find that if you draw the picture, you can see like where everything relates. What we first did is we worked out what the question was asking us for. In this case, it was dx dt. What we found is we found our value that the question gave us or alluded to, which was the change in angle with respect to time. We set this up in our chain rule and from here, we can use the process of elimination to get what our second relationship has to be. And then we can go out into the question and into the information that we have and search for it. So here we realize that we need a dx dt, or sorry, dx d theta. And from there, we found what x was in terms of theta. We differentiated it. And then we subbed in the point um, where the point in terms of the angle at which the light is four kilometers from the lighthouse. Once we did that, we just came, it came straight out with our solution. So guys, I hope that video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel, I put out new videos all the time. But just guys, in terms of these sort of questions, if you keep on practicing them, it, they will become easier. They are hard for everyone the first couple of tries, but just keep on keeping on. Eventually the wall will fall down and it'll start to become a lot more simple. But again, I hope the video helped. Keep enjoying your maths and I'll see you soon.